What's going on everyone? This is Jane Geek Comics coming at you with another video. Uh, in this video, um, during these times of COVID-19, a buddy of mine dropped me off some essentials, uh, like booze. Um, but he also gave me uh, a box, this one right here. He actually gave me a box of CGC, or uh, books that he got graded at C2E2 that are signed and graded from CGC. And uh, he said that I could use these videos or use these books and show a reveal uh, for a spot. So I was really happy to, that he was able to uh, just lend me this box so that I can do this un unveiling of these grades. Uh, I don't know what these bo uh, what these books are. I have no idea. Uh, I have no idea what's in here. Uh, I don't know what the books are, what grades they are, or anything like that. So this is going to be a surprise for both of us. But uh, shout out to Eric. Thank you so much for letting me do this um, as I continue to build out some comic book content. Um, before I get started here, um, I'm almost near the 800 followers that I've been trying to go for this last this past month. I've been doing a giveaway stacker of a, a bunch of books. Uh, I posted the latest one, the last one of, of the stacker um, today. So all the books are ready to be given away to one lucky winner. Just uh, go ahead and follow my Instagram page. It's Jang Geek Comics. Uh, like and comment on every single post that has a stacker in it. And uh, yeah, the, you'll be entered in a drawing for a chance to win them. So I'm really happy to finally hit 800 followers. So thank you so much for all of you guys who are following me on Instagram. And um, my website. Finally, it'll be up and running by the time the next video is available. Uh, it's pretty much up and running right now, but I wanted to make sure that the uh, purchasing stuff uh, goes smoothly and all the orders can get fulfilled. So I don't want to make it official, but it is up. But once it is, I will, again, probably by the next video that I do, uh, it'll be probably live for you guys to check out what kind of books I have for sale. So um, those are probably my two announcements. But again, really excited to do this. Again, I have no idea what is in this box. I have no idea what the books, what grades. I know I think he got all of these signed at C2E2. So um, I think there's five of in here though. So um, with, that for, with that said, um, well actually before we get started guys, I always have to say this. Thank you so much if you're watching this. Um, thank you so much for coming. Hopefully you guys enjoy the comic book content that I've been doing involving you know CGC grade reveals, mail calls, uh, mystery box, um, unboxings and all that good stuff so if this is your first time thanks so much for coming hope you like this content and if this is not again thank you thank you thank you so much for continue for your continuous support and for continue to watching these videos hit that like button uh, subscribe let me know what you guys have been doing during these times of um, during these stay at home situations without any new books are you guys buying things online are you guys um, doing your own unboxings are you guys even making your own unboxings to sell um, let me know. I'm kind of curious on what the other community, what the comic book community is. So uh, I think I said all I needed to say. Uh, so thank you again. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. I'm going to go ahead and crack this bad boy open. So it's funny that uh, my buddy Eric, who let me do this uh, unboxing with his books, um, he's actually said that I think two of them are for, or two of them are going to his personal collection. The rest of them, he said I can put on my shop to sell. Um, and I actually got a lot of books signed and graded along with him, uh, but I got all my books pressed because you never you never know what's going to happen between submitting them at the con to through CGC. I, and a lot of the books I actually send off to facilitators, and you can't trust them all the way. So I always make sure I press some. So those pressed books ain't going to come for another probably another month or two. Um, so a lot of the books that he got here are just straight up graded, no pressings, and uh, they've been actually been pretty good during these times that the turnaround times for these for straight up grades are uh, probably like a month. So, um, all right, well, I went ahead and opened it. I don't even know what we have here. Alrighty. Okay, so not all these books are signed. Uh, some of them are just straight up graded. Um, I thought they were all signed, but I guess I was wrong. And open up the bubble wrap. Alright. First one on top. Right, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Alright. Get rid of that form. Alright, first book. Now looking, I'm trying not to look here. Alright. First book is. I'm going to cover the grade too. 
All right, we got Eternals number two. Uh, I apologize for the glare if you guys, if there is one. Uh, we got Eternals number two, uh, first appearance of Ajax and the Celestials. Pretty good copy from 1976. It's Jack Kirby's story. Obviously, you can't get this signed by Jack Kirby, but um, pretty good, co pretty good cover, pretty good copy. Um, all right, we got a nine. We got a gra graded here as a nine. Uh, off white to white pages. Um, nothing else here, but again, a nice book here, especially um, if uh, Eternals. Uh, movie whenever that launches I know that phase four got pushed back because of it, all the situations here but uh I think this is actually going to his personal collection but nevertheless an Eternals number two at a 9 out not bad pretty good alright next video or next book here mm -hmm. alright ooh I think I, I'm not sure if this is going to his personal collection or not but this is pretty sweet alright we have X-Men Issue 100. Um, the uh, key here is the old X-Men versus the new X-Men. So, Claire, Chris Claremont story, David, uh, Dave Cockrum cover and art. Pretty good cover from what, what I'm looking at it. Not bad. All right. Anyways, this grade is ooh 6.5 off white to white pages. I wonder if he has any greater notes. But you know what? This book was not pressed. It was not cleaned. There's a lot of Scuff. Oh yeah, there's a there's a lot of spine ticks. I don't know what I was thinking earlier. There is a, a lot of spine ticks on the left here. A lot of things. You know, I don't even know if a, a, a cleaning and a press would do it any better. Maybe it might get it up to a seven. But we have X Men, 100 at a 6.5. You know what? I'm actually kind of want this book now. I might uh, look into see if I can get one at a higher grade or a higher raw, a good, a better quality in raw, and get that submitted to CDC. Um. I know that CGC is doing a lot of um, signings with private uh, private signings with a lot of artists um, right now. Let me know in the comments if you guys are planning on submitting some books. I know a lot of these guys were already at C2E2, which I already went to, but it turns out there's a lot more books I could potentially get signed. So, especially Chris Claremont getting this, maybe. Not this exactly one, but if you get to get an X-Men signed by Chris Claremont, that'd be pretty sweet. All right, the next one here. All right, Invincible Iron Man number nine. All right, this is a good key. Because it's the first appearance of Riri Williams, who becomes Ironheart. So, um, pretty cool cover. Um, Brian Michael Bendis story. Mike Diodato cover and art. Uh, came out in 2016. So, pretty good. Alright, here we go. First 9.8. 9.8 for this Iron or Invincible Iron Man. Uh, first appearance of Riri Williams. If Riri Williams ever makes it into the MCU, this book is going to spike. So at a 9.8, that's pretty damn good. Alright. Next book here is... Alright, ooh, Young Avengers number one. Uh, this one, I think think he's probably gonna want me to sell so this will be going up on my online shop when it's ready to go later this month apologize for any reflections and glare first appearance of young avengers came out in 2005 first professional comic work by alan heinberg um jim chung and john dell cover and art uh, i know there's a lot of hype for young avengers i think they may have announced it or there's rumors that disney plus is going to do something maybe in the mcu but they're going to definitely hype up the new young generation of Avengers and it's gonna definitely be young Avengers so um, but this one is alright 9.8 good job alright this is pretty sweet 9.8 young Avengers number one this is gonna spike significantly if they make it confirmed at Disney I mean Disney has been m making rumors that young Avengers is gonna happen but once it's official this thing is definitely gonna be getting some more gains um, great book to speculate on and at a 9.8, again, this will be going up in my shop uh, this month. All right, that is four books. Last book. Fairly quick video this time, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a nice uh, nice video to do some uh, CGC gradings, grading reveals. All right, we got Thor, God of Thunder, number six. Um, I think that's gore in the front. I know that there's a lot of talks about gore being in the next Thor movie, um, and space sharks and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen some speculation and stuff like that, but 
Alright, so that's Thor number six. This is not a key, so I'm not sure why he got this one graded, but it's a Jason Aaron story, Butch Geis and Tom Palmer art, and then Isad Ribic cover. Um, it's a cool cover. I think that is gore, so um, I'm not sure if this is going to have any value, but maybe. And it comes back at a 9.2. I'm looking, and yeah, you know what? There are some, in the staple areas, there is some fading... There's minor ticks on the outside here. Um, this one could have definitely been done for a, a press and cleaning, but uh, but yeah, Thor number six at a nine point two. So, with that said, you guys, that's it. That is the video for today. Um, relatively short one, um, but highlighting some books. Um, the lowest to highest. We'll just kind of recap what we went through. We got X Men number one hundred. Uh, old X-Men versus New X-Men at a 6.5. Then we have Eternals, number two. First appearance of Ajax and the Celestials at a 9.0. We have Thor, God of Thunder, number six. I think that's the first, or not first cover, but that's a cover appearance of Gore, who might be in Thor 4. And then the 298s, we got ourselves Young Avengers number one. First appearance of the Young Avengers, a very good spec book to have right now, especially with all the rumors. And then another spec book, which would be uh, Invincible Iron Man number nine, first appearance of Riri, Riri Williams, also known as Iron Heart, at a 9.8. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed these, seeing what these books are and what the grades came out as. Um, Again, I didn't know which books came out uh, was, was in this batch, so um, yeah, good stuff. I cannot wait until I get my CDC books. I don't think. I mean, right now it's um, it's like mid-April, and um, I have a feeling I'm not gonna get these books uh, until like June or May, May or June. Uh, I have another batch of books that I sent off for uh, pressing and grading th through CDC, and that was back in February. I haven't got my books, and I know that the the, play, the time that takes the longest is the uh, the pressing. If you ever want to get pressings, I probably recommend you guys doing it on your own, whether you guys want to invest in a pressing machine or do it at a comic shop or um, another place that does it. Get it pressed before you send it off to CGC because it takes, I think they said six to eight weeks to press, and then on top of that, uh, you know, three to four weeks to get books graded. So. Um, if you don't mind waiting, which I honestly don't mind, especially if I can get that press and get those grades up to maybe a 9.8. Um, so if you're sh stressed for time, I'd probably do some other ways, but if you don't, maybe it is worth doing it through CGC. Uh, but lesson learned from me. Um, my next video, I have no idea what my next video is going to be. Um, I'm hoping that by the next time I do a video, it'll be a CGC reveal. If not, I actually have some books that are piling up in a mail call, so I'll, that's probably going to be my next one. But again, the next video will announce, will officially announce that my website has been launched. So, um, yeah, uh, looking forward to it. Hopefully you guys are staying safe. Um, you guys are taking uh, care of each other and uh, practicing social distancing. And uh, hopefully once this is all done and over with, we can get back into our daily grind of collecting books and... Um, Checking out the new series and everything. I'm really excited about a lot of the books that are coming out. Well, when they do come out, but um, maybe I might do another video when the first uh, new wave of books from Diamond come through and uh, just kind of share that announcement as well. But All right, I'm rambling, guys. Thank you so much. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Again, hit that like, subscribe, um, comment on this video, and uh, keep following me so that you can check out the additional videos that will be coming out in the, in the upcoming future, guys. All right, thanks again. Jenga Comics signing off.